DC, DC, verify Falcon 9 and Dragon are in startup. Falcon 9's in startup. Dragon is in startup. Stage one, stage two, pressing for flight. T minus thirty. T minus twenty. Falcon nine secured. Flight pressures. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Stop. Let's go to towers. GC, move to section 10.59 to secure the pad. This is stage one propulsion is nominal. Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering the Dragon spacecraft to the International Space course, Station for its eighth anyways. commercial resupply services mission. We are about to cross through max Q. It's maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's one of the highest stressed states on the rocket. But keep in mind, you are looking at a 70 meter tall rocket. It's about the equivalent of a 25-story building going to space. And that exhaust plume, it's about one and a half million pounds of thrust coming out the aft end of the first stage. You just heard them say that the MVAC chill has begun. That's where we've started to chill down our second stage engine, getting ready for ignition right after separation. This first stage will continue to burn for about another 20 seconds, after which we will have main engine cutoff, or MECO. About three seconds after that, we will separate from our first stage, and then the second stage ignition will follow shortly thereafter. spacecrafts into an orbit so it can catch up with the International Space Station. Yeah. So the shot that you see on your screen there, that is the second stage engine glowing beautifully, a golden orange there as it propels Dragon to the International Space Station. You can even see the, the coast of Florida just down on the yeah. bottom over there, right beyond the nozzle. Yeah. So, One of my favorite shots. Now there's a lot coming up in just a little bit here. Uh, the cheering you're just hearing right now means the nose cone is separated successfully from the Dragon. This is the aerodynamic cover that sits on top of the Dragon to protect it from the wind as it launches. Uh, the higher up we get, the less we need it, and it just becomes extra weight, so we pop it off and we don't need it anymore. Exactly. So Dragon still has a long way to go, um, but what we're going to talk about right now is a little bit about the stage return. So you're actually going to be hearing the crowd cheering a little bit more. Yeah. Um, the, the first stage has a few different burn maneuvers to go through as it descends in the atmosphere. 
through the atmosphere to get towards the drone ship. So the first burn is the boost back burn. That's just about to happen in a few minutes, in a few seconds here. The boost back burn is when the um, the rocket turns around and kills off all its horizontal velocity, or enough just to make sure its trajectory lines up with where the drone ship is in the ocean. Exactly. And then the second burn that we'll be looking for is the re-entry burn. And that's exactly as it sounds. It's whenever we fire the engines to slow the rocket down enough so that it doesn't catch fire as it re-enters the atmosphere. So that you just probably heard, boost back for stage one has just left. So that'll burn for just a few seconds, and we'll hear another call saying that the boost back burn is completed. Again, this is great news for the first stage landing. Um, the first stage doesn't have a heat shield like the Dragon, so it needs to slow down before it hits the atmosphere. Exactly. So the, the, uh, the fast uh, and hot atmospheric gases don't damage any of the engines so we can reuse it. Yep. And then the last burn that you'll hear us talk about is the landing burn. And if you've joined us on our previous webcasts, you're probably familiar with we try to bring you footage, and so we hope to do that again live as everybody else sees it here as well. So stay tuned. A lot of fun stuff coming up. So far, this mission is proceeding completely nominally as of this moment. Second stage is continuing to power the Dragon spacecraft to an orbit of 300 kilometers by 260 kilometers. You're hearing everyone clap right now because the boost back the burn has just completed. Uh, that meant that the first stage is on its way back to the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. About 300 kilometers off the coast of the uh, of the uh, of the Cape of Florida, 300 kilometers off the coast of Florida. Uh, coming up, we're going to have an entry burn in about a minute or so, following by touchdown shortly after that, about two minutes. We're looking at touchdown around the 8 minute, 15 second mark. Keep in mind, that first stage was going 4,000 miles an hour or thereabouts. It was over 100 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. We had to negate all that velocity, bring it down into guided entry down on, of course, I still love you. It's a very challenging and difficult maneuver. It is an experimental mission for us, as always. But as of right now, everything is proceeding nominally with today's mission. Second stage continues to perform uh, uh, splendidly. 200,000 pounds of thrust, roughly. That's what you're seeing coming out of that engine nozzle right there with the red glowing uh, tip at the aft end there. Uh, so for this moment right now, uh, everything at Hawthorne and in Cape and in, in outer space certainly is proceeding uh, nominally, as we like to say at SpaceX. And so with that, let's check, take it back down to Mission Control with Tom and Kate for all the excitement. I'm going to keep my eyes on the nets over here in case and make sure everything continues to go well uh, for today's mission. So we're just about to go into the re-entry burn of the of the first stage. This is when the first stage slows itself down just before it hits the thick part of the atmosphere so it doesn't damage itself. So, now, uh, <laughs> so once the uh, re-entry burn is complete, then we wait for the uh, landing burn. And you'll actually be able to see the landing burn as it comes down. Here. stage to come back down and land on. Of course, I still love you, located in the Atlantic Ocean. And we do hope to bring you video. Uh, now, it, there's a chance it may cut out, but we're pretty confident we'll be able to get some good video of the landing today. Now, uh, just to reiterate, um, even if it's not a completely successful landing, every little bit of data counts. This is an exactly. experiment. It's not related to the main uh, objective of today's mission, which is to get the Dragon to the International Space Station. Absolutely. So the data is the most important part about landing these uh, the first stages back on the drone ship. So like we said before, if it ends in a beautiful ball of fire on our platform, that is okay. We're still going to learn a lot from it. So keep standing by here. We'll get you some video stage really, really soon. Um, sounds like stage one is going through its transonic phase through the atmosphere. It means it's heading right down towards that yeah. drone ship. Uh, this, we're on track for a, hopefully a great landing right now.
We're coming up on second age, uh, second stage engine cutoff. successfully touched down sailing on the drone ship right there that is an amazing sight to see meanwhile we are in a good orbit dragon is in a good orbit getting ready for uh, deployment should have just happen hopefully we'll have some video footage for you in a few moments of uh, the dragon separating from the second stage uh, but right now keep your eye on that amazing shot of our of our first stage standing on the drone ship right now. Uh, solar rays for Dragon uh, successfully uh, deployed. A confirmation of that. Uh, solar rays should be uh, separating and deploying shortly thereafter, and we will have uh, the generating power in a few moments from there. Right now, it is extremely exciting. You can hear the, the cheering around here at SpaceX um, to see that footage of the drone ship with the first stage recovered. Uh, going forward, we are going to be securing that first stage on the drone ship, uh, doing some final checks and, and making sure that we are ready to bring that stage back to the port, uh, back in Florida. Uh, for now, uh, obviously, it looks like it's, it's in good shape. Uh, we, we cannot totally assess the condition of the vehicle until we have our engineers uh, at the site looking at the specifics of the data. Uh, on the left side of the screen right there, you're looking at a camera image of the inside of Dragon Solar Ray fairings. That's actually the back side of our solar rays. Uh, in a few moments, you should see those solar rays deploy. Uh, you'll see them unfold like, a, like an accordion from the solar ray fairings. Uh, so we'll take a bit of a moment here and pause and, and let you watch the solar ray deployment from Dragon as we begin our mission to the National Space Station. Uh, if you keep following with us in the future, too, we will be birthing with Dragon in a few days. And there goes those solar rays I mentioned, the, the wires uh, coming up the back side of the solar ray panels as we're unfolding. Um, now, solar rays on Dragon, those are very important for us to deploy. They recharge Dragon a bit like our phone batteries, uh, and they harvest the energy from the sun. Dragon has batteries on board. Uh, kind of like an electric car, but for a two-day mission to the space station, we need those solar rays to keep ourselves charged and ready to go. When those completely unfold, you'll see them lock out. They will start pointing to the sun, and we will begin our on-orbit operations. We are right now basically chasing the International Space Station, trying to catch up to it. And if everything goes according to plan, we will catch up to the space station Sunday morning, uh, 4 a.m. Pacific time and hopefully capturing with the Canada arm and berthing with the space station soon thereafter. But as of right now, we are on orbit and we have a first stage back on the drone ship. In case if you're just joining us, we had a beautiful launch of the Falcon 9 rocket uh, taking Dragon to the International Space Space Station. The stages have separated. We have landed the first stage back on, of course, I still love you, our autonomous spaceport drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, Dragon is on its way to the International Space Station. You can see the solar rays that have deployed, just as John said. So the solar ray deploy is just one step in a long string of careful maneuvers that the Dragon is going to perform as it approaches the International Space Station over the next 48 hours. So we don't just cruise right in there. There's actually a lot of uh, complicated orbital mechanics maneuvers that we have to take in order to make sure that we're exactly where we want to be so we don't endanger the space station or its crew. Exactly. 
given the microgravity environment for anybody out there that might be new to space and how it works, uh, basically for any force that you apply, it gets amplified more so than you would think if you picture uh, what it's like here on planet Earth. So we have to be very careful with how Dragon approaches the International Space Station so that it doesn't, ha it doesn't come in too hot, obviously for the safety of the crew on board as well as the ISS itself. So over the next 48 hours, please stay tuned with SpaceX. You'll hear uh, we'll be giving updates about all Dragon's uh, maneuvers as it gets closer and closer. Um, once it gets within uh, the approach sphere, the, the um, uh, once it gets within docking berthing distance of the International Space Station, the space station will use its robotic cannon arm to grapple on. That's called capture. That means that the, we've successfully flown to the station, and it's now in the hands of the space station operators. And what they'll do is they'll use the arm to bring the spacecraft into a berthing port on the ISS. Now, berthing is a little bit different than docking. Exactly. So docking is actually whenever the capsule itself is the active um, active entity in terms of docking to the International Space Station. But berthing is when the space station masters the process. So this is, a, this is an important distinction here because our next Dragon 2 vehicle will be capable of active docking. But right now we have to the, we let the Canada arm grab and capture that Dragon pull it in and berth it to the International Space Station. Once we're successfully berthed on, then astronauts can enter and remove all those cargoes and start doing all that great science. Exactly. So like we said before, today we are taking a beam, an inflatable module, uh, that will be living on the International Space Station for the next two years. We'll be testing this technology to see if this is something that we could use in the future. Uh, applications for this are boundless. It's really exciting. Possible space hotel, who knows? Uh, in addition to that, we have lots of materials uh, for science experiments that will be happening on the ISS as well. So, as you said, thank you, or as you saw, um, this has been a very exciting day here at SpaceX. Um, I can't even believe that shot of the first stage standing on top of the yeah. drone ship. Um, we're going to take it back to JFED for just one more status update. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for joining us today. We are excited to be on our way to delivering that important science back to the National Space Station. And of course, we are extremely happy to be recovering our second, our first stage back on the drone ship. It's great to be standing upright on that drone ship. Uh, remember, that is the bonus objective for us here, the primary mission being delivering Dragon to that space station with berthing Sunday morning. But for now, it is...